chapter 2 comprises of two separate topics rally flow and the fan of flow now uh, rally flow is flow through a constant area duct with the heat transfer without friction is called as rally flow uh, but fan of flow it is also flow through constant area duct but with friction and without heat transfer and work transfer this is called as a fan of flow i depicted this picture uh, here then next is uh, uh, to remember this fan of flow we have one shortcut uh, fan of first letter is f and friction first letter is f so remember this fan of stands for friction if flow is fan of there should be friction this is the topic we need to discuss in this chapter 2 now we have one formula for a uh, rally flow uh, it is p2 by p1 this p2 by p1 is equal to 1 plus gamma m1 square by 1 plus uh, gamma m2 square this is the ratio between the pressure at section 1 and uh, section 2 and uh, i depicted this picture uh, for straight duct in this duct this is section 1 and section 2 we will call it as p1 t1 c1 a1 m1 for section 1 for section 2 we will call it as p2 t2 c2 a2 and ro2 so these are the parameters we are going to use for uh, solving the problems both rally and uh, fan of flow right if they gave the mach number m1 it is very simple or if they didn't give any number uh, for the speed speed ratio that is a mach number then you need to solve uh, by formula m1 equal to c1 by a1 they didn't give the mach number then you need to solve by formula c by a m equal to c by a for section 1 m1 equal to c1 by a1 for section 2 m2 is equal to c2 by a2 if they didn't give value of a2 then you can find by root of gamma r t2 i depicted that picture also in my background uh, so see this if they didn't give the value of a1 then you have to use formula root of gamma r t1 simply a is equal to root of gamma r t we discussed in our first chapter next is uh, heat transfer energy equation heat energy equation q m is equal to cp into delta t not this is a equation for uh, heat energy in terms of watts in rayleigh flow stagnation pressure t not 2 is not equal to t not 1 always and next formula is impulse function f2 by f1 f1 uh, it's the ratio of section 1 and section 2 impulse similarly we gave a formula for the ratio of pressure p2 and p1 we gave it already similarly for stagnation pressure p02 and p01 similarly static pressure t2 by t1 stagnation pressure ratio p02 by p01 so these are the ratios uh, we gave but using this formula we need to solve the problem we have on a flow chart this is change in entropy change in entropy del s s2 minus s1 by r is equal to ln of m2 by m1 into m2 by m1 of 1 plus gamma m1 square plus 1 plus gamma m2 square whole power of gamma plus 1 by gamma minus 1 this is the equation i depicted uh, Uh, this picture here then i gave an another equation relating q max q max is a maximum heat transfer these are the equations we are seeing but but simply using this equation uh, we can't uh, get uh, full flow of problems uh, right now we need to solve by uh, separate steps we have some steps to solve the problems here the first step is if they didn't give the mac number for section 1 or section 2 now let us assume they are giving some data about section 1 and we need to find data about section 2 right this is a straight duct now we need to solve this t not 1 p not 1 t1 p1 by using gas tables and next step is for uh, section 1 you need to find mac number then with the same mac number find p1 by p1 star t1 by t1 star p not 1 by p not 1 star 
T naught 1 by T naught 1 star C 1 by C 1 star this should be used in your Rayleigh's tables this formula this ratios uh, can be uh, found in your gas tables in Rayleigh in the in the Rayleigh table P1 by P1 star T1 by T1 star P0 1 by P0 1 star T0 1 by T0 1 star C1 by C1 star values can be uh, determined by using your Rayleigh table then using this Rayleigh table this ratios then find the value of T1 star P1 star P0 1 star T0 1 star C1 star if needed then you may find right now uh, we have to find the value of m2 by using this values by using this flow chart you can find m2 then for the respective uh, mac number and the next step is to find m2 how we can find m2 by using this values right now we know p2 p2 is uh, say for example p2 is given now uh, it is a time to find value of m2 now how can we find m2 if they gave value of p2 then find the ratio of p2 by p2 star by using your calculator use your calculator to find the ratio of p2 by p2 star then find the respective mac number m this is m2 now we found m2 now the problem is solved now you can find the value of p2 by p2 star using your Rayleigh table then you can check your answer with flow is isentropic you can get the result of T02, P02, C2, even T2 you can find the section 2's parameter completely this is a procedure to solve the problems and next is uh, some common formulas used in your problems delta P0, delta P0 is P01 minus P02 and next is to find stagnation pressure ratio loss stagnation pressure maximum stagnation temperature is given by T0 max it is given by T0 1 star is equal to T0 2 star it is also equal to T0 star this is a common at the throat section if they didn't give R value then you can find by CP into gamma minus 1 by gamma Similarly, we depicted the picture for del H0, it is calorific value of fuel by air fuel ratio plus 1. This is a formula for del H0 and you can use this formula also for del H0. It is del H0 is equal to Cp into T02 minus T01 density. It is uh, found already and next is density. Density is rho. Rho is equal to P by RT for section 1 rho 1 is equal to p1 by rt1 rho 2 is equal to p2 by rt2 and uh, for heat energy q is equal to mcp into delta t naught if symbol is negative then it indicates heat is leaving from the system and next is uh, fan of flow this is the second part of your chapter 2 with friction without heat transfer without work transfer in our given data friction factor f bar is given if the data f bar is given then this problem is coming under fan of flow and this picture depicts common steps for solving the problem of fan of type right now for the same straight duct they gave for section 1 they gave the Mach number M1 then you need to find the value of T1 by T01 P1 by P01 for flow is isentropic for section 1 you need to find the value of T1 by T01 P1 by P01 flow is isentropic using your isentropic tables for the same Mach number M1 you need to find P1 by P1 star C1 by C1 star T1 by T1 star similarly P01 by P01 star 4 F bar L max by D using your Fano table. Use your Fano table to find these values. Then you need to solve for M2. This is the next step. See this picture from P1 by P1 star, C1 by C1 star, T1 by T1 star. Right now you need to find the value of 
P not one star, P one star, C one star, C and T one star, P one star, C one star, and T one star. Also P not one star. Now you have to equate it with P not one star is equal to P not two star. Now equate this, then find value of M two. For M two, find all the data of C two by T. Find for M two. Find all the data C2 by C2 star T2 by T2 star P0 2 by P0 2 star 4F bar L max by D. Find all the data for section 2. And the final step is find the value of 4F bar L by D using this formula. They gave friction factor. Then you can get the value of distance L. This is a L. It is the length of the duct. You can get the length of the duct where L is the length of the duct and another one important formula is del S S2 minus S1 by R is equal to ln of P0 1 by P0 2 this is the formula to find del S that is change in entropy